So uh, this is my daughter Dayla's bow that I bought her and she also made this uh, cool thing for her arrows. Well, I think it was during a time there was some movie, I don't know if you know what it was Mikael. The Hunger Games. What was it called? The Hunger Games. The Hunger Games. So I didn't watch that but uh, I think during that time that movie was on a lot of young women around the world took up archery because it was kind of cool to have shit like that hanging off your back and shoot stuff. That'll do, Bigsy! Stop barking at the sheep! Stop barking at the chicken. That'll do! So, uh, you probably uh, will be thinking, oh, well, clown, I had to use a bow, but the truth is, I've never shot one in my life other than when I was a kid playing silly buggers, you know. Have you ever shot a bow? Yeah. You yeah. have? Yeah. Shut up, Bigsy! So tell me about that. Um, when I was younger, went to Boys Brigade. Oh, yeah. We had a camps. Yep. And there was someone there who taught archery. Tried it there. And I think I've tried it some other time as well. H how were you? Uh, can't remember. <laughs> can't remember. Could be a uh, trait when he. So, anyway, the idea is that this is massive yellow eyed mullet. They're like horses. Huge fish compared to what they normally get. It's the only one or two that have been hanging around the house boat ever since I've been there and I've put a fishing line down for them, I've put a net down for them, I've put the bait catcher down. If I had a net that was smaller mesh I'd probably catch them but I don't have one. So the next thing is to head on down there now because I've got to go down and check stuff and try and shoot one with this. So I don't think it's going to go very well but I'm just trying everything. First of all I have to try and shoot something here so we'll give it a crack. Well, it hit it, but it didn't go through it. I'll try another one. So, I'm using the same arrow. It's a, a practice arrow, I guess. Not really one of those ones with a blade. But I would have thought it'd go through a fish because it's quite sharp. But it didn't go through this. And I think I know why. I think what I need to do is I need to turn this around, maybe the other side, I don't know. All right, it's the same on both sides. What that is, is it, it's, a, it's a mitt for washing cars with. So we'll give it a crack again and if it doesn't work I'm going to have to think of something else for a sharp end because it's got to go through the fish and if it can't go through that it can't go through a fish. Mmm, it's not going through it. I'll see what else is in the quiver. So that's the tip. Uh, I would have thought it would go through that. We'll give it another crack. Right, third go. Probably about five metres I suppose. Maybe six. This is as far as I'm going to get to the fish. Aha, kill shot. And the thing is that that hurts my finger, so I think you need one of those little things, but for a one shot I'll be sweet, so we'll go and give it a crack. Oh, a clean miss. <laughs> I think those guys at Boys Brigade didn't teach it right. Another shot. Yeah, no that fish is uh, swimming away, bro. I've got down to the houseboat. As you can see, she's uh, she's raining. There's a few people over there in that bay over there. Families coming out for this beautiful weather, and visibility is pretty much zero for shooting a fish, which I came down for. But I can put this over the side, although there's not much tide left. The tide is just about uh, done its dash. We'll put that down for maybe some uh, fish later on. You see by where the uh, tide is there. Anyway, yeah, uh, gonna do some chores on the boat. Gonna tidy up from yesterday. Get the fire going, make a brew, and then pull that up, and hopefully we get a bit of clarity. Because what happens is those yellow-eyed mark, the really big ones I've seen out the window before, they come in about just as the tide's almost out, the last bit, but they clean up all the sediment. So if the rain eases off for a bit. Really good to have this rain coming over because it's uh, going to water the plants and this on the roof and water all the grass because we need water right now, really, everything's so brown.
by my side makes life worthwhile. Oh yeah, worthwhile. The rain's died down a bit, and I've got a rod up a sabiki rig and some very tiny baits. There's only small fish coming in here. The rain has got less, and soon, hopefully, there'll be some large yellow-eyed mullet coming in. Very hard to see though with this rain and the water. I'm not sure how much you can see in the net down there, but there's some very small sprats going in there now. You can see the big old bit of burley. It's just all chummed up old carcasses of salmon and frames and stuff. There's small fish coming in, but nothing big yet. But with the small ones, bigger ones will come in. We don't have much tide left. It's going to drop probably another 20, 30 minutes. So if we're going to get any fish, it'll be in the next 20, 30 minutes because the tide's going out. I don't know if that's focusing, but uh, I don't think it is. But that's the size of these little sabikis. They're number eight hooks. Very tiny. So we're going to cast that out. There's about six on there. And hopefully something out there takes it because those... Yellow-eyed mullet, they're not taking anything else that I've thrown out there so far. I've tried cheese, I've tried all the baits, that's squid this time. Thought I saw a bite, yeah, they were getting bites. Cool. First time we've had bites there. Squid's working on that there. It was definitely biting. It stopped now, but it was biting. Bloody good. Maybe some small fish out there yet. Getting bites again. I was. Yep, that could be that could be a mullet there. I don't know if I should jerk it or let him get it in his mouth. It's a big enough bite to be a decent sized one. We got a little fish. Got a little you know, I might. That's actually bloody good. Before I was using cheese, someone said that was good for using for these fish, but actually, this is actually really good. It's not a, not a big fish, but it's a sign that if you can catch one small one, you can catch bigger ones. Well, the bait catch was empty, nothing on the rod, and one small fish in here. And honestly, you need more than one for a feed. And as I only eat these things on the day, I catch them all the next day. I think we're going to let this guy go. What do you guys reckon? You yeah, could use him as bait, but no, we'll put him back into the seat. So I want to catch the bigger ones on this next time. See you later, mate. You going to make it? Oh, he's gone in the mud. Where's he gone? Oh, there he goes. So you all right, pal? You going to get out of there or not? There's a tide too late. He must better work out swim down downstream, mustn't he? Sorry about the bloody mud. I've got a funny feeling he's going to end up seagull bait if he doesn't swim downstream. You're supposed to go down there where the stream goes out. Now he's going to get himself beached. You're beached as, bro. You are beached as, bro. You should turn around. Well, he's turned himself around, but I don't reckon he's going to make it. You left it too late, pal. Or maybe I left it too late to let you out. He's found a wee hole to get some fresh water. Well, sadly, old mate was never going to make it, was he? Because the uh, tide had gone out. The only way he could make it is if uh, somebody walked for miles away from the houseboat and took him into some water here where all his mates are still swimming. And that's where they are. And I wanted to come up here because I wanted to see where the water goes out and there are fish in there. So, uh, he's in there. We're going to let him go. One of the things about being a hunter, or being a fisherman, fisher person, politically correct, that a lot of the public don't seem to realise about us that kill to eat, is that we, I'm talking about the moral hunters here, because there are some idiots out there, but I'm talking about the majority, is that we look after our stocks, whether it's one fish like this that, you know, could grow to be a bigger fish, uh, unless you're doing pest control, then everything you're hunting, you're doing everything you can to retrieve it and take it home with you, which can be bloody hard work. And that's the reason I thought, well, it's only one yellow-eyed mullet, but maybe 
in six months they catch it, it's a real big one. So uh, we're going to let him go so he can swim back out here with his mates and grow bigger for another day. And I can tell you he's okay. We'll just turn this camera around. You wonder how they can actually live in this bloody muddy water, don't you? But they do, and they thrive in it. It's probably why they taste a bit muddy sometimes. Have you jumped out while I've been talking? Oh, there he goes. I thought he's gone. You bloody... Good to go, mate? Yep, you're gonna... Gonna go back into the sea. Yes, we are. We're gonna let you go. Here we go. There you go, pal. See you later. Okay? You're good. You'll swim down there and, uh... Know where to go now. There's a few in there still. You can see the movement on the top of the water. There he goes now. You can see his movement as he goes out there. See the little movement on the water? He's off. Well, this uh, making two videos a day is a lot of work. And I'm in my bunk, still on my boat, my houseboat. The uh, power's all switched off because I like to save as much as I can. Just reading through comments from different people. Uh, thank you very much for your awesome comments. Uh, someone wrote, his name is Mike, he wrote, stay at home. Uh, I don't think he actually realised, Mike, my situation. I bought the old farmhouse, I rented it, and it was um, due to be fixed up. Adrian Bourget, from Adrian Bourget Construction, was start to, supposed to start on my room about four weeks ago, and build it so it was sleepable because the windows have huge gaps and you can't actually open them they just tell by nails there's no insulation at all and the roof and the kitchen is leaking and water's coming in and the rats doesn't matter how much you poison because it's an orchard it's got apples for miles so it's a fucking horrible place to stay and i wasn't supposed to be staying in over winter it's not very good filming at night is it so uh, i've been sleeping down here every night or most nights and just going back to look after my nephew and my dogs each day on the farm and I was down at Grossy Point today with my little boat rather than walking to the houseboat because I had to take a battery to it and the police were down there and I took my dinghy out to the houseboat and came back in and the cop saw me and said nothing so I think you know you've got to be a little bit understanding this situation is not perfect for everybody certainly not perfect for me uh, i haven't been flouting the law at all i haven't gone hunting uh, only on the farm and i haven't gone fishing out in my boat not even in the estuary which i could quite safely but i haven't just to stick within the guidelines of what we've been told to do and uh, if i could i'd be sleeping at home at the farmhouse but it just isn't sleepable and the builder that's doing it has put in a request to do it as an urgent job because it is essential that I have uh, a warm place to sleep because my immune system isn't that flash anyway I don't really feel I've got to justify myself to, to you Mike but I am saying this for anybody else who's thinking you know why am I going fishing off my houseboat well the reason is it's actually my it's where I'm staying most of the time but of course I bought the farm I've got animals to attend and that's also something I've got to do I don't really know even why I'm telling you this because I would have thought it'd be a no-brainer, but I guess um, that comment came from someone who isn't following the whole channel. Anyway, I'm shattered. Uh, this has been a funny vlog, this one. When you do two a day, <laughs> sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not, but I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully tomorrow is a better day as far as the fishing goes. Be good, can't be good, be careful. And uh, good night. Whiskey and woman, I can't help myself. Whiskey and woman, have to have the top shelf. Whiskey and woman, I can't help myself.